Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Wanted to tell you guys I'm doing meal prepping slash batch cooking differently and I like it better and I want to tell you about it. I'll first tell you why I'm doing it differently. There for a while, they were not scheduling me on Sundays doing product demonstrations. Well, lately it's been really busy. You guys know I do product demos on the weekends. I absolutely love it. I love the store staff and I love the customers. That being said, it's hard to spend a whole day cooking. So what I'm doing instead is I'm doing my batch cooking. I'm actually taking a few things I want to make and cooking them each day. What I like about this better is it was really exhausting doing everything in one day. It would take basically the whole day. That's number one. Number two, because you know I don't have multiple types of measuring cups and things, so every time I would do one dish, I'd have to wash everything up and do it again, and it was very time consuming. So I actually like doing this better where I do a few things each day, and what I like about it is I'm a lot less tired, it's easier to handle it with the dishes, and also the other thing is, is I'm not making as much food, I'm seeing what we're using, so that I don't make too much. That's the main thing, it's great having food, but we don't want to make too much where people are tired of leftovers or it's just not getting eaten. I think we can agree because that's not frugal. So a few things I wrote down and I wanted to show you a couple things. I'm going to link the recipes below. And I will say this, if I find any recipe, because I am subscribed to a lot of cooking channels that I really love that was not hard to make and is fairly frugal, I'm going to tell you guys about it and I'll link the link below and give that you know, recipe or give the uh, the channel credit for that because these recipes that I'm telling you about today are not from me. So I want to make sure to give credit where credit is due. And I'll put the link in the name of the channel where I got it. So a few of the things I'll be making this week is salmon, stew, tortilla soup, homemade pizza, and the one thing I made here and I got from another channel, John Wayne's Casserole. I made zucchini bread for the first time, never made it. Here's my hint for zucchini bread, guys. Turned out great, super moist. I've been told you're supposed to drain the water from the zucchini. I'm gonna say from my experience, um, I would not drain it. The reason why is, yes, the zucchini has a lot of moisture, but it adds a lot of moisture to the bread and it makes it moist and really good. And I will say it turned out fantastic. I also made some cinnamon sugar butter cookies, um, and I'm going to be making, uh, I never can pronounce this, quinoa, I may have pronounced that wrong, because I've got all these leftover tomatoes and pesto and things and broth that I'm going to put in there so that I utilize those. I have some uh, beans that I'll be making, pot potatoes, mixed veggies, uh, chia pudding, uh, I made homemade waffles. Um, also, I'm going to make keto French toast and chaffles. And I'll let you know if I come up with any good chaffle recipe. Uh, that's a waffle without bread. A lot of times it's made with cheese and egg. And I made a breakfast casserole. And so these are just some of the things. But what I do is I write down everything that I can make. And then I choose the things I want to make and then X them off and I do a few a day. So I'm going to show you real quickly and I'll link the recipe below. It's from all recipes. And I made this delicious homemade zucchini bread and I made that and I have more zucchini so I'm going to make my friend she said her favorite cookies are zucchini cookies so I'm going to make her though she doesn't know about it yet and then I made this delicious John Wayne casserole the youtuber her name first name I know is Julie or Julia and I'm going to link the channel below if you go visit them tell them money mom sent you John Wayne casserole and it is so good I'm going to tell you this the bottom has bisquick, but if you don't want bread, you don't have to put it. So part of this pan has bisquick on the bottom, the other part doesn't. Then you take ground beef, you brown it up, and you put um, you know some type of uh, you know tomatoes in there if you want. You can put salsa in there. You can put chilies, rotel, and then corn, and you mix all that up. You drain the corn, and then you put taco seasoning, and then you lay that on top of the bisquick. Then you also you take this chive and onion cream cheese you mix it with a little mayonnaise and some spices spread that on top and then cheese on top i'll link it below but i tasted one teeny bite it's really good and you could make it low carb so i'm doing meal plan differently and i'm going to start doing maybe one cooking video a month on this channel 
I'm going to pick up something simple and easy and delicious, but I want to make sure that it's an original recipe from me. So that's all I have to say. Let me know what you guys think of my new way of doing batch cooking, and let me know what you're cooking this week. That's all for now, and check out those recipes below if interested. Love you. Bye.